Good morning, class. Please stand up for the prayer. Okay, Sarah, can you lead the prayer? In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Again, good morning. Okay, so before you sit, can you pick up the pieces of paper on the floor and throw it in the garbage properly? So are we okay now? Okay, you may now take your seat. So, I will check your attendance. Once I call your name, please say present. Is it understood? Okay. So, Amores, Bebero. Okay, no one's absent. Very good. So, now, let's move on. So, what was our topic last meeting? Who can share their learnings about our topic last meeting? Okay, Jerome. What was our last topic? It's all about? Yes, subtracting numbers. How will you subtract numbers? So, for example, I have 10. 10 minus 5. So, you will subtract 10 by 5. So, what is the answer? Okay, good. 5. So, now let's move on to our next topic. I am here. I am here picture. So, what you observe in this picture? Yes, this is a garden. So, there are many flowers. As you can see, there are many different flowers found in the garden. So, can anyone tell me what are the flowers found in the garden? Okay. Yes, we have sunflower. What else? Roses and gomamela. So, can you tell me how many sunflowers found in the picture? So, okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten sunflowers in the garden. How about the rose? How many roses found in the garden? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five roses. And how about the gomamella? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, there are eight gomamella. So, how many flowers found in this picture? So, let's count. How many sunflowers? We have ten sunflowers. How, how many roses? There are five. So, ten plus five equals fifteen. So, how many gomamella? We have eight. So, 15 plus 8 is, yes, yes, very good, 23, a total of 23 flowers. So now, do you have any idea what our topic today? Anyone? Okay, our topic today is about, please be quiet class. So, everyone, can you read? Visualizing and adding two one-digit numbers with sums up to 18 using the order and zero properties of addition. So this is our topic today. So I have here an example. So I have mangoes here. So can we count how many mangoes in, the, in this picture? So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight mangoes. How about this one? One, two, three, four. So, eight plus four equals how many? So let's count how many mangoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve mangoes found in the picture. So there are 12 mangoes. So let's move on to another example. I have here balls. So how many balls are there? So let's count one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about the other side? Let's have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the other side is ten. So how many poles are there? Who can answer? Okay, Anna, let's count if Anna is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, is Anna correct? Yes, there are 16 balls in the picture. What if we interchange numbers? Using the same number sentence, we have 8 plus 4 as what we have on num number 1. 8 plus 4 equals 12. If we will interchange this number, we will have 4 plus 8 equals 12. So what do you observe? Yes? Yes. They got the same answer. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 4 plus 8 equals 12. So if we interchange numbers, still we got the same answer. I have here another example. We have 10 plus 6 equals 16. I used the same number sentence in example number 2. So we have 10 plus 6 equals 16. And if we interchange this, we will have 6 plus 6 plus 10 equals 16. Still, we got the same answer. So it doesn't matter if we will change the position of the numbers, still we got the correct and the same answer. So is it understood? So let's move on. Combining numbers together is what we call addition. This is called addition. If we combine numbers together. So 8 plus 4 is called addends. So 8 plus 4, 4 plus 8, 6 plus 10, or 10 plus 6 is what we call addends. And 12 is called sum. So sum is the answer of the addition. Is it understood? Okay. Plus sign, we use plus sign in putting numbers together. We use equal sign to show the answer between the two sets of number. Is it understood? Okay, good. So, I have here a scenario. And we will try to answer this one. So, everyone can you need... Ben bought six black pens in the market and Maria has one red pen. So, how many black pens did Ben bought in the market? Yes, six black pens. And how about Maria? He only bought one red pen. So, how many pens are there? Where are? How did you get seven? by adding 6 to 1. Okay, very good. So let's move on to number 2. Cindy wants to buy 3 candies and 5 lollipops. She went home with a smile on her face. So how many candies did Cindy bought? 3 candies. And how about lollipops? She bought 5 lollipops. A total of 8. Yes, and how did you get 8? By adding 3 to 5. Can we count 3 and 5 to get the answer of 8? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the answer is correct. I will group you into two groups and I will show you pictures and then you will answer it on the board. Did you get me? Okay. So group one and group two. So I am here picture. First picture. Number two. Okay, are you finished? Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. So for group one, they answered 10 because six plus four equals 10. So is it correct? Yes, it is correct. So number two, for group two, they answer 8 plus 5 equals 13. Is it correct? Yes, it seems like we understand our topic today. I have a question. What have you learned from our topic today? Anyone? Hey, Sarah, you learned that? You learned how to arrange numbers according to property of addition. Yes, very good. And can you show your example and write it on the board so that your classmates can fully understand? Okay, thank you. 
So, your example is 6 plus 5 equals 11, and you interchange it into 5 plus 6 equals 11. So, is Sarah correct? Yes. Though she interchanged the numbers, still she got the correct and the same answer with 11. So, do you now understand our lesson today? So, any questions or clar clarification? So, not. Okay, good. So, now, please be ready and get your paper and ball pen. So, this is your assessment now. So, for your assessment, for test 1, using the following objects, write the number sentence in the space provided. So, we have objects here, and you will write number sentence, the correct number sentence for test 2. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer and draw different objects that correspond to your answer. I will give you example for number one. 18 plus 0. So, the answer is 18. You will draw 18 objects that, that correspond to your answer. Is it understood? Okay, I will give you 5 minutes and after that, we will check after. So, class, are you done? Okay, so exchange your paper to your partner. So, for number one, let's check. We have one, two, three. So, we'll put number three. So, we have three and or plus one, two, three, four, five. We have five. How many flowers are there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, there are eight flowers. So, how about this side? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five flowers in the first set. Second set, we have one, two, three, three flowers. And we have a total of eight flowers. So for number two, we have boxes here. So let's count. One, two. So two. So another side, we have one, two, three, four. We have four boxes. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six boxes. So this side, we will count 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll put 4 here. And the other side is 1, 2. So we'll put another 2. And a total of 6. Still we interchange in numbers, but still we got the same, the same answer. So for number 3, let's count how many triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 triangles. And the other side. There are no triangles, so we'll put 0 here. So 4 plus 0 equals 4. So on the other side, there's no triangle here, so we'll put 0. And for the other side, we have 4 triangle. Total of 4 triangles. So let's move on to test 2. So since I already gave the answer for number one, let's move on to number two. So 12 plus 2 equals 14. 14, and you will draw any objects that corresponds to your answer. So you will draw 14, for example, you will draw um, 14 mangoes. So for number three, 10 plus 4 equals, yes, 14. Number four, six plus nine equals fifteen. Okay. For number five, eight plus five equals thirteen. So, who got the perfect score? Very good. Majority of the class got the correct or got the perfect score. So, how about um chat below? Okay, good. Still is good. Please uh, clap your hands because majority of the class have the correct answer. So now, do you not understand our, our lesson today? Okay, very good. Next meeting, we'll have a quiz about our lesson today. So please study and listen to the teacher always. Okay, please stand up for the prayer, for the closing prayer. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye, class. See you on Monday. Thank you.